In the 71-year history of the rivalry between Jackson State and Mississippi Valley, the Tigers have feasted on the Delta Devils. Going into Saturday's game, JSU owned a whopping 61 wins, seven losses, and two tie series lead, including seven straight over the Valley. Baby, you gotta act like you want this. You act like you don't want to be here right now. You like, yeah, you do. Like you in your feelings. Go run, coach. Go look how you're running. Everybody, watch somebody else catch the ball. Watch how they run. But for a moment, Mississippi Valley cooled off the Red Hot Tigers. Shortly after receiving the kickoff to open the game, it took Valley less than a minute to take the lead. Tailback Caleb Johnson sprinted 50 yards through the JSU defense to the Tigers' 25-yard line. Two plays later, Valley quarterback Jamari Jones hits Ja'Cory Rankin in the end zone for a 25-yard touchdown, and the Delta Devils stunned JSU with a 7-0 lead. Valley better get it while they're getting it good. Do y'all love? Do y'all love? Valley's lead did not last long at all. Shadour Sanders guided the Tigers on a five-play, 65-yard drive, capped off by a 42-yard touchdown pass to Coco Beach, Florida native Willie Gaines. Wait, no, you Coco, Florida. It ain't Coco Beach. It's Coco, Florida. It ain't Coco Beach. It's Coco, Florida. <laughs> JSU's offense continued to move in the right direction as Savion Wilkerson scores on an incredible 30-yard run, giving JSU its first lead of the day at 14-7. The Tigers defense then banded together and kept Valley off the board the rest of the day. Devontae Davis' sack of Jones forced the Delta Devils into a three and out to close out the first quarter. But after taking the ball to the MVSU two-yard line, Wilkerson fumbles short of the goal line and Valley recovers in the end zone for the touchback. The Delta Devils were not able to capitalize as the JSU defense held them to only five plays before forcing a punt. Shadour led his team on another impressive drive as the Tigers went 90 yards on 10 plays that ended with a five-yard touchdown pass to J.D. Martin. JSU went into the half with a 21-7 lead. And we missed a deep touchdown as well. Um, this is not indicative of who Fans we are. At this time, join me in wishing a very I keep, I keep saying it. I keep, I'm repetitive now. It, se it seems like we don't want to be great. We just want to be good. To be great, to be memorable, to, to, to set your mark in, this, you, in the history. 25. We got to take advantage of these type of situations. My hat's off to Coach Dancy and, and Valley. They're playing their butts off. Uh, we got we to gotta be dominant. We can run the ball. We can throw the ball. We're, everything is working. Everything is, is, is working. We just... <laughs> We got to take advantage of the opportunities that we have. I like your cross, man. I like that. God bless. Go Tigers. <laughs> in the second half, Jackson State would force Valley to throw in the towel. Speedy back Santi Marshall opened the third quarter by taking the handoff from his own five and racing all the way to the Devils' four-yard line. On the very next play, Shador connects with hooks on a four-yard touchdown pass, extending the Tigers' lead to 28-7. Touchdown, Tigers of Jackson State. That score was part of 49 unanswered points for JSU, which included John Higgins' 20-yard pick six. JSU's defense held Valley to 217 yards of total offense, while Shadour Sanders threw for 438 yards and four touchdowns. Jackson State rolled up over 600 yards of total offense en route to a 49-7 win over Mississippi Valley, the eighth straight victory over the Delta Devils. We, I don't know what's uh, disabling us from being dominant in the first half, but we got to fix that. We just need the first halves to match the second half. I'm very pleased with the way we came out of executing the second half. We're coming up on the bye week now. What's your plans? Uh, we're going to work. We're going to figure out what we did wrong, why we surrendered uh, seven points, why we threw an interception at the end, uh, why we fumbled in, in the during, uh, end zone. And we're going to figure out what we're not doing well and fix it. And come back out with two weeks ago ready for Alabama State. <laughs>